What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. I go by rifle. I know. What the heck? Why do you go by rifle? Isn't that a weapon? Yes it is, but it's also my YouTube channel name. So I like to go by rifle on my YouTube. What the heck's the matter with that? Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys an unmarked location. I guess, I guess it's not exactly unmarked. Actually it is. It's an unmarked vault that you can actually find at a marked location, if that makes any sense. But yeah. Once in the Far Harbor area, you want to head over to Cliff's Edge Hotel. As you guys can see, it's next to National Park Campground and National Park HQ. But before I get into this and actually show you where this unmarked vault location is, if you could, please take a little bit of your time and SPANK that naughty like button. It's greatly appreciated, everybody. And I don't really do much Let's Plays, nor do I do face cams. Actually, hang on, before I go inside this hotel, look how ghetto rigged my, uh, my setup is. Literally, my microphone is set up on a stack of games. Like, what the heck? Who does that? And I don't know, I don't do that many face cam videos. So I thought it'd be nice to spice things up. So for all you people out there that haven't actually started a YouTube channel and say, well, I don't have this and that, you don't necessarily need this and that to get started. You gotta just start and then, you know, be consistent with it and you'll see growth over time. But hey, this isn't about how to grow your YouTube channel. It's about this unmarked vault location. But yeah, just head inside here. Just take the route that I'm taking pretty much, guys. Then we, once you're inside the hotel, you just wanna bust a right and you'll head through this open doorway and then head up these flight of stairs real quick um this is actually going to be my first time looking around inside this vault you know i've been here don't get me wrong i've been inside this vault but uh i haven't actually explored around so it's going to be basically a first look too because as soon as i found this i was like wow now this would be a nice video to make because i'm sure a lot of people would want to know where this location is at especially since there is tons of quests inside this vault you know there's different quest lines inside this uh vault that i'm going to be showing you guys I mean, even this baseball bat, in case you're wondering where I got this blue baseball bat from. Yeah, th I found this inside the uh, unmarked vault. But this is actually, this baseball bat is actually part of a, a quest inside there. It's about investigating a murderer, but I'm not going to spoil too much on that topic. As you guys can see, though, if you're uh, actually, you know, paying attention of where I'm going, we're at the top of the hotel now. Once you're up here at this area, you just want to head outside here and then go across you know, this open area inside this building. Then, as you guys can see, the elevators are shut down. You can't take the elevators, but you can take the stairs again. So we're gonna be going down the stairs once again. <laughs> I know we started off going up the stairs. Now we're going down. I don't know why I said we're going down the stairs once again, because we started off going up the stairs. But basically, we're taking the stairs again. That's what I'm trying to say. And we're gonna be going down some more stairs, as you guys can see here. Like I mentioned before, I don't really do many of these Let's Plays. But I thought it'd be nice because I want to give my first impression over seeing some of the things inside this vault. And here is the entrance to this vault. This elevator takes you down inside Vault 118. Oh yeah. And by the way, keep in mind there will be tons of ghouls here. Sure, you're probably thinking, huh, ghouls, no problem. But there is tons of them. You know, they can be a problem in numbers. And they might not be too difficult, but they can be a problem. So I'm just warning you guys on them. Ah, uh, loading screens. I guess while we're sitting here waiting for the elevator to go all the way down, I guess it's a good time to say thank you guys so much for the support you've given me. I know I'm sounding like a suck up here, like really right you're going to tell us thanks. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Just go with the flow. You don't got to say thanks, you know? But seriously, thank you guys sticking with me even after Cletus made a video. Good gosh. Finally, I can sit here and make some videos. You have no idea what I go through with my brother. Oh my goodness. He is one annoying person. But hey, I don't think he cares about being annoying. He doesn't care. He doesn't care what anyone thinks. I guess that's what I love about him. Anywho, uh, as you guys can see, here is the vault. By the way, in case you're wondering, like, how do you enter this vault and what happens? You know, how do you open the vault door? Well, you'll have to, of course, you know, click this. And then dialogue will come up about you pretty much taking care of some investigation inside here. You're going to pretty much have to say you're willing to do some detective work. But yeah, check it out. Vault 118. How nice. Welcome home. So let's check this out, shall we? We got a desk here. What's what's here? Anything special? No. Stealing stuff if I want to do that. But nah, I don't want to do that. What's over here? We need the key. Requires key. I don't have a key. I don't know what's behind this door. This. Huh. Interesting. 
Looks pretty sweet, though. I have to say, I like how Nita looks. I love how the vaults look. They always look nice. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them do. Oh, what's back here? How do we get? How do we get inside there? Aha! What does this guy have to say? Welcome to Pearl. the Vault 118 gift shop. Looking for a gift to bring back to that special someone? I've got a few minutes to browse. All of our items have that rustic main feel. Anything unique? That's what I'm looking for. What? How much is this? Jeez, that's a lot. Yeah, that's the unique uh, armor piece here. That is badass, though. The Dapper Gent, wow. You know, I'm definitely going to do a review over this soon. Sure, my caps don't look like I have enough, but trust me, I will have enough very soon. I'm actually going to make a video... Probably after I make this video, I'm going to find a way to actually get this Dapper Gent. That just looks awesome. Heck yeah. I'm going to have to show you guys what it looks like, you know, on your character and stuff. It probably just looks like this, you know, except it's unique. Pretty cool, though. What else we got going on in here? Uh, let's go down this way. Whoa. Hey. You can use these for your settlements. A cannon, okay. Pool table, awesome, awesome. And a bedroom, you can sleep back here, nice. Wow, that's an awesome looking restroom, what the heck? So clean. Ooh! There we go. It's the key. Wonder if I can now go in that one place that was locked before. What's in here? Okay. Well then. Skulls, what the heck? What kind of helmet is that? Let me unlock this one. That looks pretty cool. Is that something? It might be just something ordinary, but still look pretty cool. Oh, it's just a yellow flight helmet. Wow. Oh, we got swords over here? Don't mind if I freaking do. There we go. Got it. Sweet. Revolutionary sword, Chinese officer sword, and a combat knife. Cool. What's up here? So I got the overseer's key. It was in that room where I could sleep at if I wanted to. What? Where they're growing their crops at, even though they're all robots, why do they need crops? Strange. This is the uh, murder room, by the way, in case you're wondering what's going on down there. And over in that corner, right next to that sofa over there, is actually where I got the fence buster. Which, by the way, the fence buster was that blue baseball bat I was using. Let's see, what's back in here? Anything? Whoa, a generator room. Picture of a cat. I'm going to go ahead and switch my weapon to something with ammo. I hate running around with a weapon without ammo. I don't got anything right now. Golly. I'm running dry. Hmm. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh. Gilda, I believe you can actually have sex with this robot. I think I've seen a video on it before. Oh, you can. You're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Red hair that was the envy of every girl and Am I about to have sex with the robot? I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder business. I must say, you're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. <laughs> Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right, and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? What the heck? I must say... I've known flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. 
Care to hear some of my stories, detective? Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mm, sounds <laughs> good, detective. <laughs> yep. You can. <laughs> I didn't know it was that easy though. What the heck? No, we just got it on. But we probably shouldn't make a habit of this. Catch you later, tiger. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we can have sex with her, but we can't have sex with Valentine or or I believe we can't. Oh well. That was pretty funny. Where are we, though, right now? I guess we're in her room, of course. Awesome looking. Pretty cool area. Workout room. <laughs> I guess robots work out, too? Strange. Hmm. Where else can I go to explore around? Oh, I'll go back to that door that was locked that I needed the key for. Let's see what's in there. Uh, whoops. I thought I was pulling a fast one. I'm kind of lost right now. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. We haven't went down this way yet. Let's see what's down here. All right. I haven't showed you guys this room, but yeah, this is pretty much the first room that you enter inside here. This is actually the only room that I've been in, you know, my first time coming in here. I actually just went in here and then I left after I picked up the fence buster over here that I found. Had to make a video over that just because I wanted to show you guys where that unique baseball bat was at. And then I'm now making this video for you all and doing a first look of the Vault 118. 118. What's behind here? Hmm. A junk room. What the heck's happening? Here's someone talking to a cat. Oh. Oh. What the heck? I thought it was coming from the back room, I guess not. Oh god. Not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside okay. the suit. It's not I'm out of here. That's enough uh, showing you guys that room. We're trying to explore this area. What's in here? Dang. This place looks dead. Ooh. A beach picture with a beach chair? Whoa! Now this is awesome! Wow. Hey. There you are. I just had sex with you. <laughs> Still, pretty cool though. Valentine has a point though. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright. I guess that's enough of this area. Now let's go check that locked door. I'm so curious on what's behind that locked door. I'm pretty sure the key that I picked up unlocks it. I could be wrong though. <laughs> they got a shower room to get, you know, the sand off your feet. Even though they're all robots, it's still set up pretty nicely. All right, now we're back here. Let's check out what's behind this locked door. I'm pretty sure we can open it now since the key. Yep. I guess so. Dang. Now this place looks destroyed. What's going on back here? Oh, what the heck? And I guess I wasn't thinking too straight before. You know, it makes sense that they're all robots down here. You know, probably before 
there was all humans down here. Well, not all humans, but there was humans down here, obviously, if they have all this, you know, human attractions, if you will. And, I mean, also, some of them have human brains inside them, like the one robot that I had sex with, so. I don't know exactly what happened down in this vault. Yeah, I guess that's all that's back here. Weird. This probably is a very important place for... Oh, wait, wait, there's an elevator. Can we use it? Maybe inside? I guess that's everything in this place. I'm sure this place will have something to do with one of the quests. But yeah, as of now, I don't really see nothing in here. Definitely a pretty interesting location. I had to share it with you all. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. This was my first look as well of this place. But yeah, I guess that's I wrapping up this one. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you haven't, try checking out my Twitter in the description. That'll be much appreciated. But I'll catch you all on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.